So for these, solving proportions using unit rates. So we talked about unit rates before. And for a rate, we said, so I'm just going to back up a little bit and say uh, we have 12 dogs in like three families. So if we would do 12 divided by 3, we get 4. And sometimes you get a decimal when you do that. But, so a decimal would be OK, but it would be 4 dogs per family, right? Do you want us to write this? I wouldn't. But I mean, if you can, there's nothing wrong with writing it. But it's not officially the notes yet. So, but that was a unit rate. So when we look at this section here that says solving proportions using unit rates, they're saying, well, if we get a rate, you could just do top divided by the bottom, numerator divided by denominator, get a number. It's fine if it's a decimal. And these are your units. Good? Because so essentially we're saying that 12 over 3 is the same as 4 over 1. That's why they call it a unit rate. So, all right, the actual notes then. I'm going to say divide fraction. So divide fraction to get the unit rate. And I'm going to say writing units helps. Um, because once you have the units in, it sometimes makes it a lot easier to see what to do for your next step. Um, so example one is just going to be kind of getting that unit rate. If we have um, seven crab legs costs $14.98, and I really don't have a clue what they cost. I just made this up. So if we have that, what does each one cost? So now my question is, if we want to know what each one costs, are we looking at the number of legs per dollar, or are we looking at the number of dollars per leg? Dollars per leg. Do you agree dollars per leg? We want the cost per, per crab leg? What does each one cost? So if we want to do that then, we need to take this and do the number of dollars, which degree that's 14.98. And I'm going to put the dollar sign after it, which is pretty poor. Dollar sign usually goes in front, but I want my units kind of at the end this time. Um, and we want to do that divided by the number of legs. Well, it's 14.98 for how many crab legs? Seven. Seven. So if we want to get what does each one cost, we could do 14.98 divided by 7. And we get, if my notes are correct, 2.14. So that's just taking these two numbers and kind of <laughs> simplifying those two numbers. But we're still then left with our units of dollars per leg. So in other words, it's $2.14 for every crab leg you buy at this store. Does that work for people? Correct. But for me, I really like seeing the units, because when I look at the units, it helps me see, do I do 7 divided by 14.98 or 14.98 divided by 7? Use the units to figure out what order to do it in. We want dollars per leg, so you have to do the cost in dollars divided by number of legs. All right, hit number two. Number two is pretty much the same thing, but then they do one extra step after the fact. So the two-part question, what is the cost for one battery? So do we want to do number of batteries divided by cost or cost divided by number of batteries? Cost. Yep. So we're going to do a cost divided by batteries. I'm just going to do B-A-T-T -T for batteries. And then we have these two numbers. Which one goes in the numerator? The, uh, the 15. 15, yep, because that's the cost. And then we put the 36 down below. So cost for one battery, punch in 15 divided by 36, and we get 0.42. So it's $0.42 for every battery, or 42 cents for every battery. But I'm just going to leave it the 0.42. If you wanted to say 42 cents per battery, you could. But the next part, that maybe won't make as much sense. We OK for those? Is that seriously what they if you buy like the big bulk packages at Home Depot, I think this one I looked up on the Home Depot site. Um, whether it's a Duracell or a rail, I'm guessing it's a rail back, like the 36 pack or something. So to finish it off, the second part of our two part question is what is the cost for four batteries? So we know if this is the cost for one battery, what do we do to get? Perfect. So if you take $0.42 per battery, and I heard of multiply it by 4. Because so if one battery is 42 cents, then if you multiply by 4, it would be 4 of them. I'm going to say times 4. Do you agree it's 4 batteries? And the reason I wanted to do this, most people don't look at it this way. But do you agree 4 batteries is the same as 4 batteries over 1? 
The reason I'm trying to show you this is, do you agree something in the numerator could cancel with something in the denominator? Maybe. So that could help you see you have to multiply, because when you multiply, the batteries just cancel out. And the only units that are left are Dollar. dollars. So I'm going to put it back in front because it's only dollars. But 0. 0.42 times 4 gives us 1.68. So in other words, buying the batteries this way to put your batteries in your calculator or whatever it would be, your Wii Fit would cost you $1.68 for the four new AA batteries. Questions? No. Good.